Hello everyone. This is Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough day. I apologize for the delay. Um not gonna go into what's been going on because I already posted a video about that, so we're just gonna get on with the show here. Virgo, it's your turn. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not prepared. Forgive me. Do, do, do. Put on something to set a mood, I guess. Put you in the mood for a reading. Do, 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 do. I've been listening to these crazy blizzard sounds at night. It's kind of funny. There's nothing more ominous than the sound of snow falling on winter leaves. It really isn't. You know, I don't know how many of my subscribers live somewhere where there's snow, but there's something spooky about how it sounds when that first snowfall hits those dry, crisp leaves. It's just so... But it puts me to sleep. I don't know. I guess I'm weird. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Hold that thought. So sorry. I couldn't find the ashtray. All right. Anyway, Virgo, it's your turn. So. Oh. This reading will be from now, in this present moment, through end of July. I know it's only a week, pretty short period of time, but it's a little less energy for me to draw off of anyway. Um, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it resonates with you, cool. Take whatever message you're supposed to, go forth, do you, live your best life, vibrate high. If it does not resonate with you, it wasn't your reading and it wasn't your message. No hard feelings on this end. If there's no hard feelings with you, and we'll try again next time. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, now through the end of June. Did I say July earlier? Because I meant the end of June. Oh, like in the way and stuff. Two of cups reversed. Wow. Okay. Holy shit, Virgo. Okay, so two cups reversed. <clears throat> Possibly a breakup scenario. Disconnection. In the past, we have a Five of Pentacles, so either you left someone out in the cold or someone left you out in the cold. 
but you had to use your intuition, or they did, and take it out over it resonates. With this High Priestess card over here. Present energy, Ten of Pentacles reversed, so... Didn't get what you wanted out of it. You didn't get your fairy tale ending, so to speak. There is no big white house. There is no picket fence. There is no happy family. There is no 2.3 kids and a dog. Yeah. Take it however it resonates. And the blockage here being the justice in the reverse, um, it's leaving you a little bit out of balance. Immediate future, Eight of Swords, you're all up in your head about it. But you're trapped in a cage of your own thoughts regarding the situation. Possibly wondering if there was anything that you could have done differently to change things. And outcome eight of pentacles reversed. You'll no longer be putting work into this connection or it could be affecting your ability to do your job. You could decide to leave a job because of this. Take it however it resonates. This is very interesting. What I'm going to say, it's going to sound a little bit crass. There's an old adage. There's no polite way to say this. Don't shit where you eat. Virgo, if you got into a relationship with somebody from work, it's not a practice that I recommend. I've tried to avoid it. It's not, it's just not a good practice. Because when the personal intermingles with something that isn't supposed to be interpersonal, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. There again, I know people who have met their current spouses at the workplace and everything is just perfectly fine. But there again, it's not something I personally would do. Because it kind of leads to heartbreak and upheaval and imbalance. And it's just not, it's not a good practice. But do you live your life? All right. That was pretty cut and dry. I'm just going to ask for some clarity. A couple of these cards. Okay, what's this high priestess about? What's a Virgo using their intuition about, universe? Let's be specific here. <laughs> Six pentacles in the upright. You used your intuition to figure out whether this was balanced or not. Also, the card of Taurus. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Six of Pentacles represents... Uh, if I can make my mouth work, it is one of the cards that represents Taurus. Just food for thought. Wow, we don't want to shuffle today. One more card on that, please, universe. Judgment. Mm. Oh, wow. This shit just got deep.
This could have been someone from your past. Didn't have to be. Take it however resonates. Could have been a soulmate connection. Maybe someone from like Cadillac states way back, past life past. Maybe someone you just clicked with and you weren't quite sure why. Could be. But, Emperor in Reverse kind of took the wind out of his sails a little bit. Possibly made you a little bit soft. Alright. Throw a couple cards on this outcome. Very good, Knight of Wands reversed. Moon reversed, yep. Okay, you're seeing this for what it is. Secrets are coming out. You're you're gonna I see this in the outcome. You're gonna inevitably make the decision that you, you're just gonna You're not playing games. You're not playing games with this. Two of Wands. You're taking action. You're picking a fork in the road, and I think you're picking the fork away from this person. No. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could be juggling some emotions about it. Take it however it resonates. And possibly, definitely kicking the ball around about changing jobs. Just to avoid this. Again, sorry for the crassness. Don't shit where you eat. It's just not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Okay. Let's grab the energy of the person you're dealing with real fast. Well, this took an interesting turn. Virgo, the person you're dealing with. They have the full card. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Take it over. It resonates. Long shot, they might be on some kind of spiritual quest or wanting to take a leap of faith. In the past, Hermit reversed. Possibly some inner work that needs to be done or needed to be done. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. A Virgo very much out of their element, but a Virgo nonetheless. <sighs> King of Cups. Something else I need to know to interpret this reading. King of Cups. They have genuine love. This person could be older. Possibly a Cancer. Doesn't have to be. 
They had genuine love. There again, going back to this instant, they, you, you clicked. You clicked. You're not sure why, but you clicked. Current energy, Four of Swords. They're in like this meditative state, just kind of processing. I'm hearing processing. throw a clarifier on that. What are they processing? <laughs> Lovers reverse. GG. I think they're processing the breakup because you guys did click so well. And they wanted to take a leap of faith with you. I think part of them still does. This is two of pentacles reversed about. It's the cups. Seven Pentacles. Okay, I'm hearing the blockages. They're getting impatient. They, they don't want to juggle their emotions anymore. They don't want to juggle emotions. They're losing patience. They have genuine feelings for you. And genuine passion. King of Wands. Wow. Wow. That, yeah, that's a clarifier. That's a clarifier. Indeed. All right, let's come down to the immediate future. Five of cups. There. Sad sack staring down at three spilt cups. They miss you. They're, they're definitely going to very quickly be in a state of looking back on this, being like, what the fuck just happened? It was going so well. Seven of Wands, and it, yeah. Seven of Wands, they're, they're struggling internally with this. They're not sure if this is their fault or not. I don't think this was anybody's fault. I, I think it just... Virgo, I think you made you made a logical decision and you wanted to maintain balance. And decided, yeah, we work together. I don't want this to get weird and awkward. And all of a sudden it got weird and awkward. Outcome, Prince of Swords reversed. I think they're just going to leave it be. They're not going to go all Sherlock Holmes on you. They're not going to stalk your social media. They're just going to be like, what the fuck just happened? Possibly they blocked you. Seven of Swords reversed. Nope. No, I think they blocked you. I think they're so, they're going to block you. What the fuck did I just do there? Throw one more card on that. <laughs> and they're putting this cycle to rest. World card. Wow, crazy energy. Sun card reversed. They're not happy about it either.
Okay. Let's get you shared energy. Wow, Virgo. I heard footsteps. I don't think anybody's coming in now. Can I get the shared energy, Virgo, and whoever they're dealing with now to the end of June, please? Ten of Wands. End of a burdensome cycle. Yep. Justice. The Hierophant. You clicked and you just didn't know why. <laughs> yep. This was meant to teach you something. Supposed to be a lesson here. Okay. End of a burdensome cycle. Hold on a second. I gotta give a kid a hug. Just a second. I love you. Okay. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, where were we? In the past. We have the Justice card, card of balance, also the card of Libra. Take it however it resonates. The Hierophant. On top of this little card cocktail here. So, this was definitely meant to teach you something. King of Wands reversed. So, no action being taken at this point. You're just kind of done. <sighs> Blockage for this ever working out again. Two of Swords. Somebody had to make a logical head over heart decision here. Was it painful? Probably. But somebody had to do it, whether it was you or the other person. Both of you. Immediate future, again, Eight of Pentacles reversed, could be changing jobs, either way you're no longer putting work into it. Outcome, Five of Pentacles, somebody got left out in the cold, possibly ghosted, no explanation. I think uh, finit and finito when it's done. Throw one more card on that Five of Pentacles. Four Cups reversed. Yeah, you're not even looking back on this with regret, I don't think. No regrets, it was just a thing, and it ended. Throw a card in this Justice card up here. Again, Four of Wands, the 11-11 card, Soulmate, spiritual, uh, I cannot talk, oh my gosh, Spiritual Connection card, Card of Divine Destiny, Card of Stability, take it however it resonates, this was meant to teach you a lesson. Do I know what the lesson that was? No. That's for you to figure out. I'm just the reader. Another clarifier on that, Queen of Pentacles. You know what I love about the Queen of Pentacles? She's independent. A little sassy. Knows her worth. Is it going to take anybody's crap? But she's stubborn. To keep that in mind. She emits a very stubborn energy. And that's okay.
Duh. She also represents Virgo. Bottom of your deck. Another Virgo card. Hermit Reverse. There again. You need to go inside. You need to figure out the lesson you were supposed to learn from this. For whoever this is resonating for. This is a teaching moment. That's what I love about this Hierophant card. He's a teacher. He's a student. Okay. <sighs> Grab a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. It's a smart deck. I like using it. A little wordy. But it's seldom wrong. It's seldom wrong. One more shuffle. Between worlds. Wow. Okay. Number three. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back at you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Wow, isn't it creepy how that works out sometimes? It was a teaching moment. You're supposed to learn. I love how this works out too. Your Archangel Michael message. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly hear, see, and feel and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Virgo. You are beautiful, wonderful people. Probably, and I don't like to play favorites, but you're probably one of my favorite zodiac signs, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of Virgo friends. I have a lot of Virgo family members. You guys keep it real. That's what I love about you. Okay, this is what we have for you. So, know that you're loved. Be blessed, and we will see you in July.